to tell your city's story. The city and narrative was my favorite because you really got to give off a vibe of your city. You got to describe, well, if you lived here, it's what it would be like. What makes your city unique and futuristic? Underground open pit gold mine in uh, the Australian outback. We have a spaceport and airport for government use and a seaport for trade with other cities. We have an Olympic and World Cup class football stadium. City narratives cannot exceed 500 words and should give judges a quick overview of your city. Tell us a little bit about where your um, city is located, why you chose that spot, different recreation in your city, the different zones, industrial, commercial, residential. Don't just describe your city, sell it. There's a lot to do in our city with the beaches and the coral reefs and stuff. And then we also have a lot of parks and zoos and there's shops. It's a great tourist place. As if you could think about it like a newspaper ad about to move to a city and we basically listed all the good stuff about our city. Where do your citizens live? These are our residential homes. Their roofs move with the sun to maximize the capture of sun's energy. That's where most of the, of the citizens of our city live. They also include small businesses, grocery stores. How do your citizens get around? We have our skywalks that generate electricity as walk. Very efficient vehicles like segways, exoskeleton vehicles, which basically can wrap onto your body and let you go a lot faster than you can now. Your teacher or advisor will give you guidance to keep you on track with the rules. The narrative should include your city's best landmarks, innovative features, and what type of people live there. Our citizens are very, very healthy, and they have an increased um, life expectancy. There's many recreation facilities. We um, take use of the St. Lawrence River, and they have um, recreation on the recreation island. What are your city's best features and attributes? Intelligent design works on all of our buildings. So like when an earthquake comes, the building will not fall. It'll stay standing and it'll just, instead of crumbling uh, to the ground, it'll just move with the quake. These crystals, they let light into the underground using fiber optics. So that way all of our underground has sunlight and that's healthy for our citizens. On our narrative, we wrote it one night and we forgot about the rubric. And we went back and looked at the rubric and it was off by a lot. So we had to rewrite most of it. What are some of the services that your city provides? Tube freight system, there's um, tube freight A and tube freight B. Tube freight A is for transporting goods between companies and homes and businesses, and tube freight B is for transporting garbage from homes and businesses to the plasma gasification plant to use in power generation. What types of parks and recreation can your citizens enjoy? Our city is a great place to be outdoors. It's so much fun. Our city is located in Taiwan, so a lot of people like to do Tai Chi here in the green open spaces. You might want to tie your research essay into your city narrative by creating obstacles that your city has had to overcome. At this time period, the people have severely devastated all the natural resources of Earth, so we have levitated our city to allow the natural fauna and flora to regrow. Our city is located in northern Arkansas along the New Madrid Fault. Um, and we located it here because of the earthquake that might occur. Definitely a strong beginning and a strong ending. It's kind of like a cliffhanger. You really want to come to learn about it. Um, you have to include information, but you also want to be make it enticing for people to want to read. The style of writing, you know, we, we guided them by saying, you know, it does need to feel more you know, like you are trying to promote your city. So it does have to feel more like a, an ad or a marketing piece that would convince somebody to want to come and visit your city. A great place to start is looking at the past winning narratives on our website. Have a classmate check your paper for grammar and spelling errors and to make sure that it's interesting. Then do the same for them. Peer reviews where our fellow classmates would review like our narratives and they would catch something that we hadn't so it made it a lot easier. Your narrative should be well written and have no misspellings. Don't forget to have fun. This is your chance to show your stuff and impress the judges with the ideas you've been working so hard on.